this is your daily devotion for Thursday, January 13th, and our reading this morning is Psalm 3. O Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. So from this psalm we see it isn't only in recent times that there have been those who have scoffed at those who believe in God or those who believe that God will provide for them or deliver them. And there is a time, I think, and a place for those who are foolishly asserting that God will do something for them that they can easily do for themselves. God gives us brains and expects us to use them. He gives us wisdom for a purpose. And so if we can see in the world things that are necessary to protect us, to keep us safe, to help us advance, we do well to run towards those things. So you can't take Psalm 3 and apply it to every situation where someone is mocking you for your faith. As I often say, um, while Jesus did say, blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake, just because you are a Christian and you're persecuted doesn't mean it's for the sake of the name of Jesus. And even if it is for the sake of the name of Jesus, that doesn't automatically mean that you're right. God's protection only applies when his people are being unjustly persecuted. You do dumb stuff. God does not have your back. But when the chips are down, we know that we can always trust in the name of the Lord, a strong tower that the righteous can run into and be saved. And this psalm is one of many that reminds us of that. And I think that's wonderful. Let us pray. God grant us the serenity to accept what we cannot change, the courage to change what we can, and most importantly, the wisdom to know the difference. Keep us from making fools of ourselves by a blind trust in you that doesn't acknowledge that many of the things the world knows are true. But when we are persecuted, when people come after us for being different, may we know and trust in your protection, which is everlasting. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.